Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this is our next problem, problem number uh, 368B and the problem link is contest slash 368 slash problem slash B so the next problem is Saraja and suffixes so Saraja has an array A consisting of n integers A1, A2 till An the boy cannot sit and do nothing he decided to study an array so Saraja is a boy who cannot cannot sit and do nothing so he decided to study an array Saraja took a piece of paper and wrote out m integers okay l1 l2 lm so just a second forgot to open that okay so we have an array of n integers a1 a2 till in okay so the boy cannot sit and do nothing so okay that's nice so Raja took a piece of paper and wrote out m integers so m integers that are n of it and she wrote he wrote out l1 comma l2 comma till lm where li lies between 1 to n so okay l1 L2 till LM. Sorry for the bad handwriting. Okay, so for each number LI, he wants to know how many distinct numbers are staying on the position LI, LI plus 1 to N. Okay, formally, he wants to find the number of distinct number among A of LI, A of LI plus 1, and A till AN. Okay. So Raja wrote out the necessary array elements but the array was slow large and the boy was so pressed for the time. Okay. So help him find the answer for the described question for each ally. Okay. So Sereja and boy are the two entities and Sereja is just uh, like playing with the boy given giving him the arrays and he has to find the solution. So okay. Now Sereja wants to find the number of distinct characters between a of l i a of l i plus 1 l i plus 1 to a n ok that is very bad writing sorry for that so help him find the answer for the described question the first contains two integers n and m and the second line contains the input array that is uh, ok so then array elements the next m line contains l1 l2 lm okay the ith line contains li print m lines for the answer to the below okay so let's just quickly copy the test suit here test case and let's just see what it says let me just uh, can we go like this yeah so yes so this is n this is m these are elements for array a and these are li so what we are going to find here is that let's just create an input array of 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and 1 0 0 0 0 0 and 9 9 9 9 okay let's just leave for that so we have to find the distinct elements and these are total tail elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so uh, indexes of the element okay so yes so like for the first query which means li equals to 1 so we have to count the number of distinct integer from l1 a of l1 to a of 10 so that is stated in the problem like you have to find between a of l1 like a of 1 to a of n so for the first query q equals to 1 
you have to find the number of distinct element between a of 1 to a of 10 so how many distinct elements are there there are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 distinct elements are there ok now for the second query q equals to 2 how many distinct elements are there 1 2 3 and now we have as uh, like skip the one so it is it also becomes the next element here so one two three four five and six so the answer is six so yes i think that is the output for the question also so let's just dive into the solution and let's just code for the problem and let's see how it goes so problem number 367b i think 368b problem 368p ok so I am writing a Kotlin file sorry for that let's move on to Java problem 368b ok sorry problem 368p so Guys, I am also adding the solution to the repository. You can always contribute and look out for the solutions anytime. This is the problem. And let's just dive in. So, new scanner system.n. So, okay. Now, um, let's just take the input n okay now let's just take the admins the m elements seriza wrote okay now we have an array of a that contains n elements the array and now like let's see how it goes so I will be not diving into state in the solution I will telling I will be telling you how I uh, landed landed into the solution so uh, like most of the beginners will do what like you will directly uh, okay so let's just first input the elements now a is less than n and i plus plus and a of i equals to sc dot next int okay so now what most of the beginners will do here and eventually i also did so for the first time you will see like for the m queries let's say you get i will initialize an element so that i have not to initialize again and again and let's just find a res result okay so now what you will do here is that you will loop here okay so you will loop for like you have to start from q minus 1 till n I have did minus 1 because the indexing started from 0 in array's case so i n plus plus and i plus plus and ok so you will check that the elements are like distinct or not so for that you will initialize a set of integer distinct elements and like new link dash set let's say and what you will do here is that distinct elements dot add a of i and then you will print directly like you have created the distinct elements and then you will just print 
distinct element dot size okay now what i did here is that i added all the elements to the set and set has the property that it only contains distinct elements so i loop from uh, the q variable q minus 1 to n and that will calculate all the elements that are lying between q up to n all the distinct elements that are lying between so first of all let's run this and check whether our codes compiles or not clearly so basically i think most of you have caught what wrong what actually we did wrong here it's it's not a logical wrong but uh, it's like we have looped many a times here so let's see what we did here we looped like m into n for the worst case so basically it goes n squared so for like 6 6 6 6 6 5 times 6 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 and here we are getting 1 2 3 4 5 yes 5 4 3 2 1 ok so we are getting uh, like the perfect answer but let's just submit this code and see what happens whether it got accept or reject ok so runtime on test error 1 what we have got as a runtime exit code is 1 so I think we have did we did something else wrong here ok ok what we did wrong here we did wrong here is runtime error exit code is 1 so I think basically it runs clearly here but now why it is not running again so let's just check in and see what is happening okay so okay yeah hmm. is that is this affecting hmm, i think no let's do it for a while exit code is 1 so I think we are missing some input 10 to 10 and then this queries so I think uh, 0 to n cool m cool n instinct elements yeah say cool ok so Okay, I think this we are printing an extra line or th something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So last iteration is ten. Ten minus one is nine. Nine is less than ten. Cool. Correct. I don't know what is cracking here okay okay what is crack okay this is cracking okay got it so yes when you submit your own solution copy and paste yes so you are running on test 2 and so what happened anything happened not happened running on test 3 the systems are quite slow today ok so yes so time limit exceeded on test 11 so yes that's what I wanted so we did something wrong here sorry so yeah we exceeded the time limit here and the time limit for this problem was one second so uh, I am stopping this video for a while and
I will upload another video for the complete solution uh, with a new approach so it will be coming in a while meanwhile you can think of the solution and what we did wrong here so bye bye guys keep coding and yes do comment your solution and tell and wait for the next uh, like the next video for the solution of this problem that is accepted into the code forces bye bye